Hi everyone, this is another tutorial and I'll be going over the steps for creating another dome. This dome's a little bit different. I won't be using straight sections. I will be just using the curves that I projected and I'll be using those to create the structure. So let's get started here. So what you want to do to start off is create a pattern. Last time I downloaded it from the internet, but this time let's create it ourselves. So, so let's call this pattern one. And what we're gonna do is create the dome shape. So I'm gonna go zero 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 and make it a twenty foot dome. So I go twenty feet and that's the size. So now that we have that shape, let's create the pattern, which we're going I'm gonna use a octagonal shape. One way to create uh, the different side, uh, different types of polygons is just go to the polygon icon here, and then it's gonna ask you how many uh, how many sides. You'll say um, depending on which what you pick. You know, this time I'll say eight, and then let's see if that worked. Okay, let's do that again. Polygon at zero zero zero, and let's pick a size that's that fits within the circle. So what I'll do now is I'll rotate that so it sits square. And I will go there and then you know make sure that that's your 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 shape and make sure that it's aligned north and south. As you can see the gumball here, it's distorted now. Now it's not even aligned. So what you could do is, is click on that little little circle there and go to reset gumball that way you'll have it all aligned so you wanna uh, create this pattern you wanna copy it over three four five times and then we'll do that over again here four five and we'll copy this again Two, three one So as you can see, when I select when I select this whole all of the whole pattern, the gumball sits right here. That means that that's the center of it. So one one thing we can do is hit move, make sure you're at that center point, and then you make sure that it goes to that center point. That way we can scale from that center point, which is they both have the same matching point, and then we'll stretch it out to instead of perpendicular to the quadrant here to the end here let's see if I use the sna sna uh, snapping tools a lot because they're they'll help you make everything very uh, a lot more accurate than than if you just hit um, any snap that that kinda shows up so alright now we have the pattern we have the dome let's go here we'll change that to, uh, layer and then what we're gonna do is select all of these, select all objects, explode it, and then select duplicates. That way all those were the lines that were overlapping. We can delete those. That way we just have only only these selected. Let's see that. The selected which we can see how many of them there are. Um, I think here, uh, 1,381 curves are created here. Okay, so we have that. We can we can lock this. We can lock that, and we want to create the dome. Let's do that. Let's go to the side view here. And once again, let's to create a dome shape. You want to go you want to create a, a profile line and this profile line it's going to allow you to draw whatever profile uh, dome you want so in here you could draw a crazy curve you could draw a shallow curve you could draw like a donut shape it all depends on what you want uh, for me I'm just going to keep it straightforward and, and just do like a shallow 
dome. So let's do this. Um, let's type in arc, the start point. the end point in the direction the direction is going to be this way you can go up and it'll it'll it can create a different uh, style you, you can kind of you can mess around with this a little bit let me show you how so if we have that curve that's that's the rail and this is the cross-section curve that we're going to sweep around so select the rail type in sweep one select that and if you hit record history you'll see you'll see how you can um, you can play with it a little bit so let's just keep it at freeform that's okay is that if that's not the size and the shape you want then you can go ahead and 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 mess with this curve so if you hit f10 you'll get the same control points that you had when you created it and you can start seeing like okay this is kind of a, a nicer design or whatever so that's the way that you can you could even take that the rail and 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 distort it distort it so oh let's see if that works oh. so the only thing that you can change when you sweep is that top rail anyway let's move on we have the the dome we can delete that curve. We have that dome. And we have these down here. What you want to do is create some points. So let's type in points one. And you want to select the whole pattern, select objects, and type in extract point. What it's going to do is create a point at every single intersection or end of a curve we can select the duplicates because we know that it's going to create duplicates but we need to have all of these selected so select duplicate and it'll select all the copies now there's only one in each one of those and so what you want to do is project all of this to the to the dome what I had done before was just projected the, the points and then connected them myself but that's only if you want to develop it in real life or if you wanted to have straight straight sections if you want this just to be digital if you're just going to use this for a pretty picture or just a presentation you can just project both the curves and the lines and then use those as a structure so that's what I'll be doing with this one so I'll select all of these and then select that layer and we're gonna project those to the dome and since the C plane the construction plane is at the bottom it's gonna do it up and down so you'll see here so we can hide these points we can hide those the dome we can hide that and we can hide that and now we have the the, the shape of the dome with the, with the with the structure here so we're gonna copy object to this layer we wanna have that also and so now we have the dome we're gonna let's see let's make this a dome one so we're gonna create a copy we're gonna duplicate this layer we're gonna make we're gonna make two domes so select object copy object to layer and I'm gonna hide this one so if you go to shaded view you'll see that we have all of those there now I can select these objects and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim out a portion of this so which portion am I gonna trim out I'm gonna trim out the big circles um, so once you have the curves that are on that plane and those points then you hit trim and then we're just gonna go ahead and manually trim out all of the circles
Okay, I think we're done here. So now we're gonna hit escape and let's take a look. What it was is since we had made that dome um, a record history dome, um, then it just it gave me a warning telling me that I'm not gonna be able to to uh, distort it like I did before, how I showed you before. So okay, we have that. We also have another dome, but what we're gonna do with this one is select the objects. We're gonna offset, or we're gonna join them together. Make sure that they're all, uh, because there's some sections that are not, um, that weren't put together. You, you saw that they were kind of split in half. So now we joined them. So now let's offset the surface. And they're all gonna go in the same direction because they all came from a dome that was in the same direction. So, okay, let's make this two and three inches tall three inch make sure it's solid yes delete input well we're gonna say no because we want to keep those and we're gonna put the new ones on layer five okay okay so that we could hide those now we have all of these cool little triangles sitting out in space okay so let's go back to here where we have all these objects here now let's create th this is pattern 2 this is the 3d pattern and then this is going to be solid 1 okay so we have this one it's there now we're going to create some pipes select here select objects we're gonna deselect points so we're gonna select objects again let's see what we got here select objects okay we got those objects selected and then now we're gonna go to make that current type in pipe one inch Di uh, radius so it's going to be a two inch diameter pipe and we can go ahead and hide that pattern so we have this pretty interesting cool solid and uh, empty type of geodesic style down but we it almost looks like a like a pattern like a square pattern a grid pattern with these squares in between that's what creates our octagon so I'm just gonna save this. Always do that before. And we're gonna go to tutorials. Okay. As you can see, um, it's just a matter of building little by little from what you started. Okay, the default line is there. I'm gonna hide that, and I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna bring back the dome. Or actually, let's see what it looks like. When we uh, put V-Ray, when we look at it through V-Ray. See, that's kind of the solid, we want the initial dome to be glass that way we can let me show you so if we have that and then we choose to put a, the the original dome there you'll see that when we look in the rendered view it kind of creates that it, like a like a pop out so if we make that dome if we make it transparent we just make it like this then it, we'll start seeing start seeing that dome that we really really wanted to to create so let's go here to shaded that's basically what I wanted to show you you can project lines these are actually arcs because they're projected onto the actual surface and so yeah that's uh, that's the tutorial on how to create 
a dome with a pattern but not just just with the pattern and pipes also with glass and if you wanted some solid sections um, you can also create them that way here I'm gonna go through the steps fairly quickly on how I'm going to render this project uh, I'm gonna do it on a time-lapse but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of of how I finalized this design and uh, I even uploaded to sell it so anyway thank you very much for watching Okay, so okay, so here is the final render. Um, it looks pretty good. It I created some some um, landscape here on the outside, like a little trail on the outside, and put in a scene with a shiny back uh, ground. And so yeah, this is kind of what it you're gonna end up with. Uh, there's a scale person inside of here. You just can't see it because of the the gloss of the glass. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like me to go over uh, something something that you haven't seen. <laughs>